How's it going, everyone? James Lynch here for Odds Checker, taking a look at Saturday's UFC Vegas 39 main event between Marina Rodriguez and Mackenzie Dern. And if you missed my other video previewing the main card, check that out here on the channel as well. So like I mentioned, uh, this is going to be a main event. First main event for Mackenzie Dern. Uh, it's a couple main events now for Marina Rodriguez, uh, maybe just two. But uh, she had a main event in her last fight against Michelle Watterson. As you can see here, Rodriguez, the underdog at plus 130, Mackenzie Dern minus 160. And this event uh, is going to be taking place at the Apex in Las Vegas for UFC Vegas 39, so smaller K. Uh, 34 years old for Marina, uh, Marina Rodriguez, 28 for Mackenzie Dern. Mackenzie Dern is 5'4", Marina Rodriguez 5'6", 65 inch reach for Marina Rodriguez, 63 inch reach for Mackenzie Dern. So Marina Rodriguez is going to be a little bit bigger in this fight. Now they do have a common opponent in Amanda Ribas. Um, Marina Rodriguez was able to finish Amanda Ribas in the second round. Mackenzie Dern lost to Amanda Ribas. It's the only loss of her career. However, it should be noted that Mackenzie Dern had given birth earlier in the year and uh, was coming back uh, right off that into this fight. So tough outing for Mackenzie Dern. Don't really fault her for losing that fight. Some people felt like she came back a little too soon from giving birth. But uh, yeah, just wanted to mention that they have a common opponent. Um, so yeah, I mentioned Rodriguez getting the win over Rivas. Michelle Watterson, she also got a win over her as well. That split decision loss she had to Carla Sparza could have gone either way. Some people felt like Marina did enough to get it done. So even so, so Sparza is definitely a title challenger in the weight class. So not a bad loss to have on the resume. And then she also had wins over Cynthia Calvillo, Tisha Torres, and Jessica Aguilar. And overall, it's looked great in the octagon. Just the one split decision loss from Marina Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Her striking's on point. We'll see how the ground game is when she fights Dern, but uh, very interested to see how she does on Saturday. Mackenzie Dern um, has, has looked great. Uh, her last couple fights, she uh, submitted Nina Nunez, went the distance with Jan Roba in the fight before that, where we really got to see her stand-up uh, improve tremendously since working with Jason Perillo. And then prior to that, two straight armbar wins over Randa Marcos and Hannah Cyphers. Mackenzie Dern is by far the best ground specialist in the division right now, and I'm sure she's going to look to use that here on Saturday. Also, you know, has wins over Amanda Cooper. Um, just a lot of uh, submission victories throughout her career. She came from a jiu-jitsu background. She's got a black belt. No surprise, that's what she uses the most in this fight. So this is a 50-50 fight, um, as the odds indicate. Uh, I give a slight edge to Mackenzie Dern just because uh, I think that Marina Rodriguez, while she does have, um, you know, really good striking, I think Dern's striking is, is up to par with it. And I think that if it does go to the ground, Dern has a clear edge there. Now, Marina Rodriguez does not have a bad ground game, but I think Mackenzie Dern just has a superior ground game. So to me, there's more ways for Dern to win this fight. The only concern I have with Mackenzie Dern in this fight, it's a five round outing. So we'll see, can Dern go five rounds? We know um, Marina Rodriguez can, but can Mackenzie Dern do the same thing here? But I'm going to go with Mackenzie Dern. That's the safe pick here. I think she's coming into her own right now you know she's not even in the prime of her career yet and she's just getting better and better every fight i think dern goes out there and either wins a decision or potentially gets a submission as well on saturday night so i wonder what you guys think in the comment section below who do you think is going to win the main event how do you think they're going to get it done follow me on twitter and on instagram at lynch and sports make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel youtube.com uh and and then just search odds checker us where you'll find my breakdowns every single week along with my fighter interviews i'm james lynch thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next week thanks so much for tuning in